guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a video about a little bit um, about how I plan and what I like to use to plan with um, I had gotten a request to do this video a little while ago and I just never got around to it so I'm gonna go over my favorite planner what I used to use um, what I think is best um, and then some of the stickers I like to use in middle school and high school I use a Lily Pulitzer planner they are like $35 for the jumbo planners they've got super cute covers um, they've got a couple lines for every day and then a monthly spread. Um, they come with some stickers in the back and that's about it. And a built-in like um, wrap cover. So those worked super well for me in high school and middle school. I loved them. They were super easy to just write down homework. I didn't have a ton going on. My mom planned most of my life because um, like, at that age you're not really planning your own life. Um, but when I got to college, I bought a Lily Pulitzer planner originally thinking it would work fine and it didn't. It didn't have anything I needed in it and it was just too small. Um, so I got an Erin Condren. This was my Erin Condren for freshman year. Um, I had an Erin Condren in the past that I had gotten for Christmas once I got into planning. Um, I think it was like my freshman year of high school and it didn't work for me at all. It was too much it had too much space too much room too many features and I didn't need all of that um so that's why I like the Lily Pulitzer one because they were a little bit um like this is a lot um and the Lily Pulitzer is much less um so these ones are $65 with the cover um and depending on what coil you choose the covers um you can take off um and then interchange them I've got a bunch of different covers that um I switch in and out um but this is the cover I have right now and I got the colorful hourly last year and I'm going to show you the spreads in a second um but I really like this for college and I'll tell you why so this is what my last October looked like October of 2018 um I'll show you this spread close up um like I said before um but I just this is the amount of space that I needed I needed space to write down like where I was going what class stuff I had to do what days I had like an appointment what days I had my favorite shows all that stuff I wanted it all in one place um and so it's kind of what I did I loved the this spread a lot and it's got margins for you to write your notes in and then this is what an hourly layout looks like and I'll show you why I liked this later um so yeah I know it's pricey but it's seriously worth it in every single way um it was great so like to put breaks in because in college you have extremely long breaks um and then I during in the notes pages it depended but I would write you know like what I got for everybody so these were just gifts I got for people um I moms that are in this planner community use these planners obviously differently um as moms are in a different stage of life but I really just love these planners and I will show you up close what they look like um there's a bunch of people that do planner videos on YouTube one of my favorites being Cindy Gunn I think it's like Gwen Terbaldo I think that's what her channel is um it's Llama Loves Lettering she's amazing she's an amazing artist but she does a lot of videos on the Erin Condren planners so this is my planner from last year um, my Erin Condren 2019 planner just came in, uh, yesterday, so this is it. It's got my name on the cover. Um, this is the cover I chose for this year. Of course, they're interchangeable, so I can use all my other ones as well. I got a neutral this year, so let's see. I've got some stuff in July already. Um, this year they've got another different thing that I'll show you when I bring you overhead. Um, but, you know, this is what my month looks like so far for july um i'm still in that other planner for about a month um and then i already planned a little bit for the for july 4th week because that's my favorite week of the year um so i'm going to talk about stickers and then i'll bring you down to show you the differences in the planners and then how a little bit like more in depth about how i use them so my favorite planner shop is planner kate on etsy she's got the best stickers um at a very affordable price and they're super fun and also very functional um i this is my planner kate sticker binder i got this binder this is a mini binder obviously got this binder at staples um and then i put stickers on it because i can't not have stickers on it i want to put more on but i just haven't gotten i don't like i haven't decided which ones i wanted to put on it yet um 
so this is she's got her own website i guess but i order off etsy i'm not sure if that relates or not but that's her business card in the front um and then i'll also show you this up close but basically what her stickers are is like a weekly kit and then they have monthly kits and all that too but it's a kit with like washi tape and custom fit stickers that fit directly in your Erin Condren um along with like functional stickers like planner time family time clean the house call whatever all that stuff um and then she also has a bunch of stickers um that are functional that like these this whole sheet just says work and then this whole sheet says pickup for like whatever, but I use it for daycare pickup. Um, bank for when well, you need to go to the bank. Um, all that type of stuff is in here. And I really, really, really just love and enjoy this. So everything that is in this planner I got from Staples. Um, and that's mainly what I use. However, for someone who doesn't really know what they want, Erin Condren does sell a lot of their own stickers. So these two are sticker books. Um that I got from directly from Erin Condren. This is the monthly collection. So last year, I got the monthly collection sticker book, which is a monthly sticker sheet, basically, um, that matches with the month. So every month, there's like a little, this was like February. Um, this is the one for July that I haven't used yet that I'm going to use, but the rest of these are used up. Um, basically this is just a good way to get your foot in the door with stickers because it comes with a little sheet then you know it's going to fit because it's from Erin Condren and this book has all 12 months for $15 which is a really good deal and then this one is the designer sticker book with the classic edition this one's just pages of like useful stickers these are like metallic ones it's got washi tape it's got all that fun stuff in here um, for you to use throughout your planner and it's got a lot of pretty designs. Erin Condren's quality cannot be beat. Um, so a lot of these I haven't used as you can tell. But these are like $15 and if you're already buying a book from her it's a lot easier to kind of do that to start with. Um, Michaels also sells a good amount of sticker collections that are super helpful um for Erin Condren planners also um and I really really just love decorating planners it's like one of my favorite things so I'm gonna bring you overhead and show you a little bit of the differences and what I loved about the Erin Condren planners because it's easier to show you if you're overhead so this was my planner last year and this is my new planner and I'm gonna show you inside this one because this one I'm not really moved into yet um but I will show you this one after I go through um my old planner a little bit um so this was the cover I chose. Um, the covers are like $10 for different covers and you buy a cover with the planner so you can obviously get this like customized. Um, you can get this customized basically to whatever you want it to say. Um, hold on while I flip this. So this is kind of what the planner looks like when you first get it. Um, it's got like an overlook. And then this is like a free page for people just to decide whatever they want to do with it. I actually didn't end up using it. Um, and I think it's okay to not use parts of your planner. Um, August I didn't actually need. Um, so I didn't really use it. But here's a good look at what September looked like. Um, I put on like days I was driving home. And then I put... Um, club stuff and I put when my psych exams were and when I was going home Michigan football schedule um when things were due and then like homework and then like yoga I went to yoga that day um so this is what an hourly layout looks like um I'm out of all these classes at UMW and so you can't find me or do anything weird um so I put when my class was who it was with and where it was um and then I had some to-do lists and all of that. So that was supposed to say Panera and it says Payra. I don't even know. Later down the line of that first semester, I actually bought Erin Condren customizable stickers with each of the names of my classes. And then what I was doing, um, this was formal weekend. Um, so yeah, I really loved this and I every class had a different sticker color um and then club was when I had alpha mu stuff and I just really loved planning like this um it was actually really really helpful 
I went home a lot and I talked about that in my the truth about college video but I was definitely this was like the first week the last week before winter break and I really 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 just enjoyed being in an hourly planner um, and you can kind of see how my planning evolved so this is kind of like the beginning of this planner um, and then now this is this month um, it's a lot different than it was. This was like the first week and I was home for the summer. Um, actually no it wasn't. Was it? Yeah. Um, and then this is like a couple weeks ago. And so the hourly I really enjoyed until the summer. As you can tell there's just so much dead time. I don't need this so much as like a to-do sheet where I can write down what I have to do that day. Um, I tried to make it more functional by like putting weather and stuff in it, but still like this is a lot of dead space for a planner that like should be helping you out. Um, this is like one of, so this is this week, um, and I used one of the weekly kits from Planner Kate, which um, this is what a weekly kit looks like. Um, if I'm going into my binder to show you, um, this is the weekly kit. Um, it comes on a sheet like this and then I take it out and I use what I want and then throughout the week I actually sometimes do put more stickers in it. But like you can tell like this is functional planning. It's still pretty but it definitely is functional and I can see what's happening. Um, for June, which is the last month in this planner, um, I have gotten a little bit more organized about how I plan. I don't I don't write directly on the like day anymore. This is like work stuff and I just write kind of like on these little things. Um so yeah, the hourly just doesn't really work for me anymore and I'm okay with that. Um I think it works really well. Worked really well for my freshman year when I was super paranoid about missing everything, I think. Um and then this is just like it's got note pages in it and then sticker pages they have a contacts page too um this is my best friend aaron from home or from new york but uh he doesn't live there anymore um he does live in new york but this is his college address so yeah they have a contacts page and then like kind of like upcoming year like what's happening i didn't use that but i've seen a lot of moms that like to use that um, and then they do come with some freebie sticker things in the back. So that is what I planned in last year um, up close if you wanted or if you were interested in an hourly. They actually did change the design of the hourlies for the next year. But that is what it looks like if you are interested in that specific layout. And then this is my planner for the new year. Um, I got a neutral. So this is a colorful. The tabs are colored, if you can tell. Um, this is a neutral. All of the tabs are gray. Um, so this is what I changed for this year. Um, this planner looks a little different. The motivational pages are aligned now, which is different from last year. And then there's a note page. And then at the beginning of every month, you have this kind of like dashboard instead of of just flipping straight to what would be considered your monthly layout um you've got like this instead so it's got birthdays and then like random stuff i haven't really decided how i'm going to use this yet um and then this is like your monthly spreads now like a monthly spread in the old one um it hasn't really changed that much um except there's no harsh lines anymore which is kind of interesting um but this is the difference between my spread for last year and this year. So this year, all the way up until the end of my sophomore year, I'm going to be using a vertical layout. So this has hours with half hours on it that I can write in that tells me exactly where I need to be when I need to be there. I really liked that, but I'm kind of over it. The vertical has way more versatility. I can still write when I have classes, when stuff's happening, but this way I can have like stuff that I need to do that day or like things that need to get done that day and then like what the schedule is and then like something else like I don't have to stick to like the hourly spread which to-do lists in the hourly spread to me look really bad some people like think they look fine I kind of don't but like I understand um this is kind of like July 4th week 
but I mean this is like an empty this is a much more versatile blank slate to me than a hourly layout is so that is kind of how I will be planning this year and how I plan in my favorite sticker shop um, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you have any other questions about planning please feel free to leave them down below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week bye